Welcome everyone to the Peak Check-In Weekly Wrap-Up. My name is Dimitar Mitev. Here at Google, I work with UK's largest retailers and advertisers to maximize the effectiveness of their media in a privacy-first way. I have been getting a lot of questions on how to have a successful peak. And in a moment, I'm going to give you my four tips on conquering the festive season. But first, a little word on privacy. It has been such a huge topic over the past few years. Mandatory consent banners, and the removal of third-party cookies from certain browsers have caused a significant drop in the reported and attributed conversions that advertisers can link to their media investments. You have also likely experienced a shift from paid to direct traffic due to said lack of correct attribution. And this in turn has impacted the effectiveness of all of your downstream capabilities, like smart bidding and attribution, and resulted in ROAS and revenue declines. And as I like to say to my clients, if you can't measure something, did it really happen? And if it didn't happen, how do you justify the impact of your peak budget to your finance and leadership team in your post-campaign review or next budget discussion? So I'm here, and for the next few minutes, I want to suggest a few actions that will improve the data you have and need to optimize your campaigns and find more new customers during peak. You will need to focus on two areas. First, capturing first-party data. This is emails, phone numbers, etc. And second, linking conversion events to media engagements. So let's focus on first-party data. We know P can be chaotic. Time is short and there are so many deals out there. You don't want to lose emails by making it difficult for customers to give them to you. I'm sure all of you are already doing this, but there are two tips here. One on strategy and another on execution. So, to create a solid first-party strategy, you should look to do a few things. First, move email sharing or signups forward in your customer journey without being intrusive. Secondly, give customers some tangible and unique incentives to share their data, such as exclusive access to deals, tiered discounts or bundles. And finally, set up your site with something like Google's one-tap sign-in solution to make it as easy as possible for your customers to share their details. We have links to the setup instructions in the Peak Resource Hub, so check these out. Okay, having set this strategy, the next step is to optimize execution. And we do this by giving some attribution credit to the paid campaigns that drive email sharing. This couldn't be easier. Simply set up email capture as a conversion event and give it some economic value, let's say five pounds. Then Google Smart Bidding will help you automatically capture more emails while also driving those revenue generating transactions. Okay, this is first party data out of the way. Now you can look at correctly attributing the conversions you've generated to your media investments. I hope once again many of you are already on top of this, but this is where you want to enable Google's Enhanced Conversions functionality, or EC for short. EC allows your conversion tags to capture the hashed emails collected on your conversion page and then match them against Google logged in data. This ensures that regardless of the purchase path, browser and number of sessions it takes to convert, you will see this conversion correctly linked to your media. Across my clients who've implemented it, I've seen conversion volumes increase by on average 5% on search and 17% on YouTube, especially for companies with more iOS traffic. Depending on your website setup, EC could be enabled in as little as 30 minutes. So again, check out the info in the Peak Resource Hub and get it done. All right, we're almost there. And this final bit is only relevant if you have a strict consent banner on your site. In that case, all conversions coming from users who denied consent will actually appear as direct rather than paid traffic. Google's consent mode can help with this. First, it ensures your tags behave in a consent-aware way. And second, and most importantly, it uses machine learning to model and correctly attribute the conversions that happen from unconsented traffic without actually tracking users. Some of my clients using it have been able to recover up to 70% of conversions lost due to consent. It integrates with the main consent management platforms. So have a look at the links in the hub to see if and how you can make use of our one-button setup. 
Both of these features, enhanced conversions and consent mode, directly benefit all other Google solutions that you will hear about in this series. So get started today. All right, that's it for me, the recipe to optimize privacy first peak performance. Focus on first party data and ensure accurate attribution. Have a great peak.